Hi, I'm Vince DiLorenzo, the DynaBraid corporate trainer, and I'll be giving a few pointers on our Mini DynaFile 2 Model 15003. We'll go over how to properly oil the tool, as well as how to maneuver the belt housing and safety trigger to maximize the operator's comfort. The first step you always want to take when working on the tool is ensure, if you haven't already, to remove the airline. So once your airline is removed and properly set aside and out of the way, you can start working on your tool. So the first thing you'll always want to do is oil the tool before use. Dynabraid recommends an FRL system and filter regulator lubricator, Dynabraid part number 10690. Uh, their design is an inline oiling system as well as a filter uh, to reduce the maintenance that you would need on your tool. Uh, if you don't have an FRL, you can always manually oil the tool. We recommend uh, Dynabraid oil. You can use a 10 weight non-detergent oil as long as it meets those specs, it'll be safe for DynaBraid tools. Uh, we recommend at least two to three times a day, two to three drops of oil into the back of the tool directly. So certainly at the beginning of your shift, before you do any work with the tool, apply two to three drops into the back of the tool or through your plug. So the key times to do this would be in the morning before any work has started. Uh, another good time to do it would be during lunch when work is stopping. And then at the end of the shift, at the end of the day, when the tool is going up on the shelf, you want to apply those two to three drops of oil into the tool, run it for 10 to 15 seconds to ensure the motor is coated, and then you can store it overnight. In order to maneuver the belt housing, it's really simple. You need a three millimeter Allen key. You take your Allen key and insert it into the screw on the back of the belt housing, and then you can loosen it. Now the belt housing can be adjusted to the preference wherever the operator wants it to sit, whatever is most comfortable for them. And you'll simply take your three middle, three millimeter Allen key and retighten the screw until it's hand tight. You don't need to tighten it down uh, anything crazy, just hand tight. And now it's ready to operate again. In order to adjust the safety trigger, the safety lever, you'll need a few tools. Those tools being a torque wrench, capable of going up to at least 35 foot-pounds or 400 inch-pounds, a breaker bar, part number 96460, or a 34 millimeter crow's foot, and DynaBraid repair collar part number 96461. An adhesive that you will need to perform this is going to be Loctite number 243. This will be, need to be applied to the threads of the lock nut in order to secure the throttle body back onto the motor housing. So the first step, you're gonna to want to remove the insulator collar. You can slide that back. Once that's removed and out of the way of the lock nut, you'll wanna remove your belt if you haven't already. Remove the belt by moving the swivel cover out of the way, pressing down on your tension lever, and now you can remove your belt. Now you'll want to take that three millimeter Allen key and remove the belt housing completely from the tool. Once the belt housing is removed from the tool, we can take our repair collar, part number 96461, along with the motor housing and move over to our vise to complete the change. Once at your vise, you'll take the DynaBraid part number 96461 repair collar, place it around the motor housing, and then place this into a vise and tighten it until it's secure. You don't want to over tighten it. Uh, the repair how the repair collar will uh, help to prevent crushing, but if you over tighten, you can still crush the motor housing. Now we'll take our repair collar or 34 millimeter crow's foot uh, and remove the lock nut. You want to completely remove this and take care not to lose the O-ring on the inside of the uh, throttle body. We're removing this completely before we adjust the, uh, the safety throttle because we want to ensure that all of the threads are clean and free of any old adhesive. So DynaBraid recommends that you use either uh, acetone or rubbing alcohol with a rag or uh, pipe cleaners to clean off any of the old debris before you apply new adhesive. So make sure you clean everything off. Okay. 
once everything is cleaned out, you'll want to take your Loctite number 243. We're going to apply just a very small amount to the threads, just about one to two drops from the bottle applicator. You don't need a lot. It will work into the threads. Now you want to take your 34, 34 millimeter crow's foot or Dynabray part number 96460 along with your torque wrench and we're going to put the throttle body back onto the motor, start to tighten it down and once we have it hand tightened on here this is where we will decide where the throttle is going to lie. So in this case I'm going to set it directly at 180 degrees. You want to set your torque wrench to 45 Newton meters or 398 inch pounds. That's also the equivalent of 33 foot pounds. So while you're torquing this, this is when you're going to be setting the location. You want to hold this, the throttle lever in the position that you want it set while you're torquing this down. Once you hear your torque wrench click in, the safety lever is reinstalled, as you can see here. Now it's straight up and down as opposed to the seven degree offset that it comes in. Put your insulator cover back over the lock nut, and now you can reinstall your belt housing and your tool is ready to go. Reinstalling the belt housing is just as simple as the removal. You'll take your belt housing, place it over the drive wheel and motor housing, take your three millimeter Allen key, and tighten the screw on the back of the belt housing until it's hand tight and in the desired position of the operator. Replace your belt, depressing the tension arm, placing the belt around the contact wheel, put your swivel cover back, and your tool is ready to operate again. For more information or any questions you might have, please reach out to your local Dynabraid rep.